the betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Right, race number two will be the commencement of the all-important place accumulator. 13.15 will be the carded off time, 1,750 meters. And I'm afraid to say it's one of those races on the day that's going to be very, very open. They are betting 4 to 1 the field. Number 11, True Love's Kiss, heads the brigade as your 4 to 1 favorite. Daughter, give me the green light from the Gareth Van Zale stable. Interesting, Gavin Lorena back in town. He came down last time. True Love's Kiss came through to win, and on that occasion was well fancied, four to one. Number four, ideal gift at nine to two. I got a lot of time for this individual, the two-time winner, yet to win on the turf, but I believe could run a big race. Then we have number twelve, Columbia Road at eleven to two, with number seven, Roy's Rocker. After that, eight to one and better. Warren, we were just discussing about number 11, True Love's Kiss. Although just winning the Maiden and beating a horse called Valley Gal, who's struggling to win the Maidens. This 64 handicap, looking at the opposition, this could be the type of race where they can go back to back. Absolutely, and uh, Gareth and Gavin and the whole team would have had a look at the program, would have seen how the field would have cut up, etc. And not easy to win first time out the maidens. We saw a horse of Robbie Hills do it just the other day uh, and did it impressively. Uh, that, that all seems to be progressive. And, and True Love's Kiss could also be a very progressive horse. I know they're from different yards, but lightly raced and, and could go on. And certainly the team could have found the right race for her to be very, very competitive out the maidens. If she doesn't win, then she could at least, I, I should imagine, run second or third. But interesting runner, uh, by no means a banker, by no means a good thing, but she bumps the right field. And if she's progressed from that, Sheldon, I agree with you, then, then she could be the one to beat. But we're using words like should be, could be, etc., because it's that type of race where it's so difficult. You've touched on Columbia Road. Uh, I think uh, she's a massive runner. The, the, the wide draw is naturally a concern. Uh, ideal gift, uh, that does put me off a little, the course statistics, but I do like her. I, I, like you, have a lot of time for her. And we could go on and on and on. So I'm prepared and happy to go into the first leg of the place accumulator with those three horses. Four, ideal gift, 11, two loves kiss, and 12, Columbia Road, and still be nervous. Yes, and be nervous is the right word because if you look at half the field, they've yet to win on the turf. Most of their wins have been recorded on the poly and perhaps it's just been the races that have been there. So it's not that they're not effective on the turf. I mean, a number of runners, Ideal Gifts got a second and two fourths. Drive Buzz got five seconds on the turf, so you have to respect that. But what we're trying to say to you is number 11, True Love's Kiss, who also won on the poly last time out. It's a very open looking race and I think it's a race we're going to have to structure it quite wisely. So race number two over 1750, number 11, True Love's Kiss could certainly follow up, but four to one the field. Number four, Ideal Gift, and watch out for number one, Drive Bar, that might just be the one to get on by later on in the afternoon. It's Donovan Everett here from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.